Hello, happy people. This is Mr. Wilcox. This lesson is for pre-calc on writing equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Today, in the notes, we're going to write all our equations in slope-intercept form. Remember, you are welcome to write any of your answers in point-slope form. So, um, first we need to talk about what it means to be parallel or um, perpendicular. So in the same, if we have two lines in the same plane and they have the same slope, meaning they are um, either rising or falling at the same ratio, at the same rate, then they are parallel. So they will never touch if they're both going up one over one, up one over one, or whatever the same number is, if um, their slope is the same. They'll never touch. Those make them parallel. And so, again, the big thing there is same slope. If two lines meet at a right angle, what that means is what must have happened is their slopes are opposite reciprocals. So that means um, if one slope is four-fifths, the other slope must be negative five-fourths. So it's both flipping and changing the sign on the uh, fraction. That is the only way they can actually meet at a right angle to be perpendicular. If two lines on the same plane have the same slope and the same starting point, they are coinciding. And if two points just meet in the plane, but they don't meet at a right angle, but they meet, they actually touch, then they are neither parallel or perpendicular, which is most of the lines we encounter. But we do have special cases. So not touching parallel, meet at a right angle, perpendicular, same slope and same starting point are coinciding. And if they just meet, they are neither parallel, perpendicular, or coinciding. All right. So um, like I said, in our examples today, we're going to write our answers in slope-intercept form but it may be easier for you to write your answer in point slope form because you just need to find a slope and they're giving you a point. So um, that'd be just fine as well. So for a parallel line, they're going to give us a line that we are parallel to. And since we are parallel, parallel lines have the same slope. So we're just gonna steal the slope from the line we are parallel to. And then we're gonna use our point and our slope we just found to find the y-intercept and we're gonna write our equation. So here's our first example of a parallel line. Since we are parallel, our slopes are the same. So the slope of the line y equals three x minus one, the slope of that line is three. So our slope is going to be three. And we could pass through the point negative three, negative five, so we're just going to plug all those uh, in. So my y equals my m times my x plus b. So I'll get negative 5 equals negative 9 plus b. Add my 9 over, I get a b of 4. So y is going to equal 3x plus 4. Notice I didn't use this negative 1 for anything. Um, because that is a B of a line we're parallel to. So that information doesn't help with our equation of our line. Uh, remember, you could have, once you're at this point, you could have written the equation Y plus 5 equals 3 times X plus 3. That would have been okay, too. All right? So parallel lines, same slope. Just take the slope, find the B. All right, so for perpendicular lines, we're going to still be given a line that we're perpendicular to and a point that we pass through. So we got to identify the slope of our line. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find the opposite reciprocal of the slope of the line they gave us. And then we're going to plug in our point, find our B, and we're going to write our equation in slope-intercept form. Um, that's what we're going to do in the example. Remember, you can write your answer in point-slope form once you have your slope and you're given a point. So let's actually do this example of the line that is perpendicular to y equals 2x plus 3. 
and passes through 4, negative 5. So the mm -hmm. slope of y equals 2x plus 3, that slope is 2. So the slope of the line that we are looking for is the opposite reciprocal of that. So the reciprocal of 2, remember, is 1 half. And since the slope of this line is positive, the slope of our line must be negative. So our slope is negative 1 half. And we pass through 4, negative 5. So I'm going to plug in my negative 5 for y, my negative 1 half for m, my 4 for x, and then we're going to find our b. Negative 1 half of 4 is 2. Subtract my 2 over, and I get um, negative 7. So my equation of my line is y equals negative 1 half x minus 7. Or remember, you could have gone up here and had y plus 5 is equal to negative 1 half times x minus 4. All right. So perpendicular line, find um, the opposite reciprocal of this given slope, solve for b. All right, so I just have two more examples for you. So we're going to start with writing the equation the line that passes through negative 211 and is parallel to y equals negative the opposite of x plus 5. When we have y equals the opposite of x plus 5, our slope for that line is negative 1. So the slope of our line is going to also be negative 1. So um, we're passing through the point negative 2, 11. So if we plug in 11 for our y, negative 1 for our m, and negative 2 for our x, and we solve for b, we're going to get 11 equals 2 plus b, subtract our 2 over, and we get 9. So our equation in slope-intercept form is y equals the opposite of x plus 9, or negative 1x plus 9. Remember, the other answer you could have is y minus 11 equals a negative 1 times x plus 2. So you can still use point-slope form. Um, the equation, the Directions on your homework today are just going to say write an equation of the line. So you can write it in point slope form or slope intercept form. All right, last example. We're going to write the equation line that passes through 4, 3 and is perpendicular to y equals 4x minus 7. So the slope of the line that we are perpendicular to is 4. So our slope of the line we're looking for it must be the opposite reciprocal. So our slope is going to be 1 over 4. And since this 4 is positive, our 1 fourth must be negative. So again, we're going to plug in our y, our m, and our x. And we're going to solve for b. Negative 1 fourth of 4 is negative 1. Add our 1 over and we get 4 for our b. So in slope intercept form, our equation is y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 4. Or in point slope form, we're going to have y minus 3 equals negative 1 fourth of x minus 4. All right, so either one of these could be your answer. So, big thing parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines have slope that are opposite reciprocals. Make sure you are um, not accidentally using this B for anything and that you are only writing the equation of the line that is parallel or perpendicular. All right, so your homework is a worksheet. You can find a copy of that worksheet under assignments on Brightspace. You can also find any of your virtual assignments for this week on Brightspace. So I hope you have a great day, Cardinals, and I hope you make it count.